To install multiverse, you need bucket first. You'll go into your plugins folder. And then you'll just upload the files, however your server management software is responsible for doing that. And you'll find the location of the files that you downloaded. In this case, we use multiverse core and multiverse portals. After that, you just restart your server and you are good to go with this. Okay, so now that we have multiverse set up, the first thing you're going to want to do is establish a portal if you've used the multiverse portals. And obviously, you don't want to make a portal to a blank area, so we're going to use the create command in multiverse. And what that's just going to do is make a brand new world. We can name it whatever we want. In this case, we're just going to use new world one. You're going to want to set the world type to normal. And if you are using a regular generator of some sort, you would just type in dash G and the name of the world generator you're using. In this case, we're not using any, so we don't have to set it up. It'll give you the status update of how much it's created, or more so when it's actually finished creating. And there we go. Now if we want to set up a portal to this world, the first thing that we're going to have to do is give ourselves the special tool to create that portal. We're going to use slash MVP because this comes from Multiverse Portals mod. Wand. We now have our wand, or wooden axe in this case. And you're going to take the top, or the bottom left tile, left click on that and then extend up to the top right tile that you want the portal to be. So now we have our portal highlighted. That's not the end of it though. We actually have to assign this portal now. We're going to again use slash MVP because this is part of the portals command. We're going to use the create command. Now just like when you create a new world, you're going to have to create a name for this new portal. In this case we'll just call it world to new world and then we'll tell what world we want to teleport to new world one we now have a portal standing here that leads us to a brand new world and the easiest way to get to that is just go right through it and here we are once again if you want to use a terrain generator you could do that and it will generate the terrain per world based off that generator and it won't affect the main world at all. So when you're ready to go back, there's two ways you can do this. You can either build a second portal on this side out of whatever material that you want. Left click bottom left, right click top right. And we'll use the same command MVP create New world, to world, world. And we're right back through there. It'll take us to wherever the spawn point is currently set for this world. Of course our spawn point is a little bit farther away than I'd like. So the next thing we're going to do is show you how the, to reset the spawn point in Multiverse. So we're going to set it to the end of the road here, and it will keep in mind what direction you're facing to when you use this command. And we set this with slash mv set spawn. And it's that simple. Now the thing to keep in mind is, even though you've just set the spawn there, the portal will not always establish that spot as where it's going to take off. It'll sometimes set to the old spawn. So you may have to remake the second portal in order to fix that. And you'll also see that this is sometimes laggy. That happens on servers, especially when you're running multiple worlds at once. 
Uh, with the current build, it sometimes runs into chunk errors when you're using custom generators, so you'll want to be careful to maybe mod yourself really quickly when you first enter a world. That way you'll prevent yourself from dying by falling through the world. And that's pretty much how you use Multiverse. Hope you enjoyed.